Hey everyone, I'm Ethan, the founder of Outcast Games. In this episode of Bite Size UE5, I'll be covering the new modular gameplay features plugin inside of UE5. There's not a whole lot of information out about it yet, and there's not a whole lot to talk about before we jump straight into the engine and do some stuff. Everything that I do have to teach all of you is better shown than told, so without further ado, let's get started. Alright, here I am in a basic first person template inside of UE5. To get started, let's go to Edit, Plugins, scroll down to Gameplay, and there are two plugins that we need to enable, the Game Features plugin and the Modular Gameplay plugin. It will say that we need to restart, but before we do that, we need to click New Plugin, choose Content Only, change the directory to be Game Features. We'll give it a name. Let's call it New Ability. And now let's create the plugin and restart. I'll meet you once the engine is open again. All right, we're back and there's an error here. To fix it, scroll over, click on this, and you're done, it's fixed. Now we can go to our new ability plugin and we can add a data asset. So right click, go to miscellaneous, choose data asset, and the type is game feature data. Select that and now name it to the exact same thing that you named your plugin. In this case, new ability. We can open it up and you can see that we can add actions to it, but we're not going to do that yet. First, we need a component to add to our first person character as our new ability. So let's create a new actor component and let's name it ability one. Now let's get our first person character. Let's edit the blueprint and we need to do some setup inside of it. Now we need to go to begin play, move this over, and get a game framework component manager. We'll drag off from this and type add receiver. We'll connect this up here and we'll get a reference to self. We'll plug this in, compile, save, and close out. We're done with the first person character. Now back inside of our new ability plugin, Let's open our data asset and let's add an action. There are different types of actions you can add. In the video, I'm only going to focus on components. It'll be the most used type of action being added to a gameplay feature plugin. So we're going to focus on it. If you want more information on the others, visit the documentation linked in the description below. For now, we're going to add a single component. First, we need to choose which actor we're adding it to. So let's get our first person character. And now let's get our ability one and let's save this and close it. Now, inside of our ability, actually first, make sure this is installed and not active as we edit things. So inside of our ability, let's open a full blueprint editor, put it up here, and now let's get owner. And what I'm doing here is I'm just going to do a little print string that prints when the, with begin play, to prove that the component has been added to our first person character and it'll act like any other component that's added. So to do that, I'm going to get name, get object name, 
I'm going to print string. I will plug these in, compile, save, and if I hit play, nothing happens. And that is because we have not activated our new ability. Click on the data, asset, select active, save, click play, and we'll see up in the corner of the screen it prints the first person character. So the component has been added and you can proceed to use it like any other component, code it like any other component. And that is how the plugin works. Alright, I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit that notification bell. We have a Discord server, which is linked in the description. Come join it if you want to. It's pretty awesome, and I'll see you in the next video.